Welcome all my rockstars to a brand new video here today. We're doing some Pokemon Emerald map randomizer So this is not any random Pokemon game. It's Emerald, but the map is randomized So each floating zone outside the starting town will take me to a completely random spot now the Pokemon are not randomized If you guys want me to see a randomized version of this Make sure you leave a like and comment down below if you do Especially if you want to see a randomized Nuzlocke of this because that would be kind of insane and maybe impossible But I'd be down to try it if you guys like to see it Okay, like I said before we we don't have Pokemon or abilities or any of that randomized, but the loading zones, once we get out of Little Root Town, you guys will see what I mean. So for this overall, it's not going to really matter what starter we choose, I would think, but we're going to go with... I'm gonna go with Trico. We might as well. It doesn't make much of a difference because our, our starter is gonna become useless. Because what the key here is is we're, we're gonna have to get as many of the loading zones written down and found out as possible. This could take a very very long time. Okay, guys. So now we're here in Old Dale Town. This is what I mean. So if I go through the Pokemon Center, I am in Sky Pillar. It's weird, right? It's completely kind of nuts that we actually can do this. So everywhere we go is like this. So. This is mod created by Crafty, and I got it off Point Crow's Discord. So what we really need to do right now, that's Cave of Origin, is first of all, beat May so we can get Pokeballs, but we also need to get to the point where we can catch Ralts. The reason we want to catch Ralts is because of softlock areas where you get into a, a teleport zone. You can go back and forth and get stuck in it. We need to be able to get past those, so teleport is our best thing because it will take us to the last town that we were actually in, and that's going to be the best thing for us. Now, because this isn't a Nuzlocke or Randomizer or anything like that, so we we can die all we want and it don't matter okay guys so with everything going on now that we have our pokemon and it's all healed up because we can ask our mother to heal us up there are a few options we can go through this door and go straight to lily cove which would open a lot of possibilities up but something i want to stick around with is go ahead and check everything in this area because we're stuck in this area anyways until technically we can defeat the first gym which we can't do because it's not going to actually be at the first gym so that really doesn't matter so all we want to do is check out all the loading zones and see what we can actually find and that's going to be the real importance because each loading zone is going to be different and especially because i'm going to have to write down each important one mainly anything to a new city and anything that takes me down to a gym or whatever because i got to keep it all in order and that's what's important so it's not going to be easy and it's going to be a long video well not video probably a long day for me i'm going to cut it down as much as possible for you guys but this is not going to be fun okay guys now that we've made it to pelberg let's go and check out some of the warp zones so the pokemon goes to the granite cave that's not that bad that means technically we can get an encounter but it's not gonna be a high level that's on Duford. but if we leave the exit it's gonna take us somewhere else and what about this loading zone here in the pokemon center this gives us also the granite cave this is the a lower level of it which is really interesting okay what about this house here this takes us to what is this place this is the naval rock what is that part of the uh, sky pillar or something because i i mean i don't usually explore anything but the bottom of the sky pillar does this act Oh, this takes me to a Pokemon Center. That's actually sick. Okay, so Petalburg Left House is a Pokemon Center. That's really good for me to mark down, actually. Okay, so with that in mind, let's go ahead and check out the actual gym itself. And this takes us to Moss Deep, which is really interesting. Yeah, so let's check out Moss Deep first. And let's see what Moss Deep takes us. So what about uh, this first house to the gym? Um, this takes us to the Aqua Hideout. That's not bad, but there's not much we can do about that. And this takes us to Route 110. Even the teleporters are different. So that's really interesting. So let's just go ahead and come back here. We don't exactly need that, so I don't need to write it down. Okay, this gives me to Mount Pyre, which is interesting. Okay, what about over here? This takes me to the Abandoned Ship, which is also really interesting. Okay, what about the Pokemon Center itself? This takes me... Is this the department store? No way! It takes me to the fourth floor department store. Oh, so I get all the TMs and stuff here, but I can't go down different areas, can I? Yeah, because the different- Oh, Victory Road! <gasps> okay, so so we got through Victory Road from 4th Floor Department. The 4th Floor Department is from Moss Deep, so we need that. So when we find a Pokemon, we need more Pokeballs, and that's how we're going to be able to get a Pokemon to actually be able to carry us. The training to do this with regular ways to play Pokemon is just not going to work, which is actually really good to know. So what if we- Hold on, let's go ahead and save here. And then what if we talk to our father here? And does this continue the story or whatever? There's Wally, so is it gonna take us right back out? I don't know how this is actually gonna work, but I mean, we have to do this no matter what. It does take us right back out. That's really interesting. Okay, so now we're back here, which is fine by me. And technically we needed this because there is a Ralts that we can capture here. It's usually not too rare, but we definitely want to capture it for loading zone mistakes because of teleport. Um, but we're gonna be back here, which is 
sucky and we can't use those doors yet and so we got to come back here yeah so there was no point of that so we got that though we know where the fifth gym is that's really really good for us okay there are a couple more places we can check we've got this house up here which takes us to lava ridge town that's good to note actually so now we have a way to get sutopolis so with that in mind let's go ahead and check out every other building what do you take us to to mirage tower interesting okay we can deal with that that is the tower in the sand deserty place what about this building here this takes us to the seafloor cavern okay so this cave is gonna take us where exactly this is where is this oh is this the uh oh no you're ignoring me now that i can uh, heartbreaking wait now now you're ignoring me now now that is heartbreaking what uh you've made it uh hmm you're sharp took me all night to plant those trees you've almost my equal greatest of the five is six please fine have this earn this reward oh we got the rare candy so wait that means we have to be if I know this place, the rare candy guy is uh, Route of Route 10, right above Slateport. What does this take us, though? Uh, this take Is this the... Sorry, you can't... Oh, okay, so this takes us to Cycling... Oh, no! That takes us to Cycling Road, and Cycling Road is going to take us out to the Seafloor Cavern. Okay, what does this take us? To Aqua Hideout. We need to get to somewhere. The Abandoned Ship. Let's take this one. This takes us to... Okay, Slateport's area. We need to get to it. We need to get outside, basically. Mount Pyre, not exactly where we want to go. Oh, come on. I just want to get back to Victory Road. Ooh, Marvora, I'm fine with that. Oh, no, because that's not going to take me where I thought it was. Now we're here. Okay, so this is the last house we haven't checked yet, and this takes us to Slateport. Actually, that's really good for us. So Vandifer left town takes us to Slateport. Okay, we're at 117. We can check the Raising Center, and this takes us to the Abandoned Ship. Okay, so the Pokemon Raising Center doesn't do anything. There's that gym uh, for the third badge. We don't actually get to go in there yet. This takes us... Oh, okay, so this is Phoebe. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I should have saved. I should have saved. I should have saved. Because uh, now I can't go anywhere. Okay, so we just got to fight her. But so that means Maul will, whatever that building is, takes us to Phoebe, which is the second Elite Four member. Okay, with all that in mind, let's go ahead and check what the Pokemon Center here is. And this takes us to, that is that Pico guy's house? I don't know. Okay, but that's not really anything we, knew, we need. What about this house? This takes us to the abandoned ship, which is completely useless for us. Okay, easy peasy. So now we're in Victory Road. That's quite good for us. So what we need to do here is catch ourselves a Pokemon. So we go ahead and save up our slot here. And let's go ahead and, oh, let's see if we can get a Pokemon. Golbat, let's take it. Okay, so bag, Pokeball, come on. Oh, that means we don't have Pokeballs yet, no. Oh, we still caught it in one go. Golbat was caught. That's absolutely fantastic. Okay, Coolio's, there we go. Easy peasy. So now we just got to find a way out of here. So any exit point will do. That's the real tricky part. Um, let's just go ahead and run away. Is there any lo oh, a loading zone right here? Uh, we found Wallace. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, Wallace is in Victory Road. Well, on a bonus side, running into Wallace, we found Wallace and it takes us back to Rustboro City, which we've already completely explored, haven't we? Hmm. Actually, did we check all of these? This takes me to Aqua Hideout. I want to double check. I'm pretty sure I've already checked all of these buildings. I want to double check some of these. Seafloor Cavern. Okay. Hey guys, so we've got Abra here. Let's see if we can capture this thing. So I've got a save state just loaded here. So if we don't capture it, we don't capture it. Yep. There we go. Just load it back up or I can do that and almost kill it when it teleports away so this should reset it every time and it's going to be difficult but it's going to be a lot easier than anything else that we try so let's just go ahead and keep trying to capture this abra and hopefully that we can get it and there we go we caught abra easy peasy no i don't care about any game so now we've got teleport so if we go to pokemon teleport vandiver town yes there we go perfect so now we're exactly where we want to be here easy peasy so now i just gotta avoid all these people and i want to continue exploring uh good old mallville because we know it has some good stuff and we haven't finished exploring it yet okay so let's try checking these places again i think we've checked all the top row but i want to probably do it anyways because i don't remember so this takes us to c4 cavern okay the pokey mark takes us to another pokemon center which is good for us now we can just use teleport to figure out where that takes us okay that's good i'm gonna go ahead and write that i'll have to write that down but it will be fine okay so this takes us back to moss deep city okay that's fine by us the pokemon center was here in odale town oh that's interesting so that's interesting that's interesting but we can just load back up to where we were i'm gonna go ahead and save here what is leaving this take us leaving this where is this okay 
Ooh, the hideout, uh, a max elixir, fine by me. Where is this though, actually though? I have no idea, this must be a random house. I don't recognize that terrain. What about upstairs? And that takes us back out, perfect, okay. So that's really interesting. Have we explored every other house in this? Oh, we haven't explored this one. This takes us to the Pokemart again. Okay, so this house takes us to the Pokemart. So that's good to know. Let's come on here and let's see which floor is this. By, uh, no, this is gonna be the very top floor, isn't it? We're not gonna get anything useful. Uh, oh wait, can we use the elevator? Does that count as a warp zone? Four? Oh, that takes us to the fourth floor. Okay, okay, that's fine. We're gonna go back up to the fifth floor for now. This is really good for us, actually. So let's go ahead and we're gonna save it here because that we know that this one takes us back to Mosky. Where does this take us? This takes us to a lot of things take us to the Naval Rock. That's fine. So let's go ahead. Let's go down to the fourth floor and double check that. I'm pretty sure we already know all of these. This takes us to Mosty again. Okay. And this takes us to Victory Road. Okay. So we can actually get Victory Road here. So that's fine though. Uh, that's good for us because now we have multiple ways to get to Victory Road. What we need to do now is just buy as many Pokeballs as we can. So I think Pokeballs are best on the third floor. Buy Great Balls. We could buy Ultra Balls. We could buy 10 Great Balls, though. Let's buy 10 Great Balls. I think that's going to be better. Then we can stock up on the rest on Pokeballs. Easy peasy. There we go. Okay, so the second floor up takes us to where? That takes us to Mirage Tower. We've seen that one so many times. What about down? That takes us to Sutopolis. But we already have a way to Sutopolis. I'm pretty sure. Naval Rock, and this takes us down to... That's Mew? Uh, save? Oh, no way. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Did we just find the Mew location? Wait, what? Oh, this is all blocked off. No way. This is how you find Mew. No way. I, I forget that this is even in the game. Um, cool. Oh, wait, wait. I saw that. Does it actually move and pop up? There it is. Hold on. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm looking for it. I want to capture it. It will make our lives so much better. Okay, I've got the entire grass on screen here. I'm just staring at it, waiting for it to pop up. Okay, we just got to run into it at some point, right? How do you do this? Okay, we got to watch it move. There's got to be a pattern to its movement, right? Everything has a pattern at some point. Okay, it's still up here. There we go! Mew! So we can capture this thing. No flipping way. Okay, this is going to be awesome. Um, I have a way to actually hurt it, so let's just go with Air Cutter here. It's not going to do anything. There we go. Okay, it transformed to us. That's fine. There we go. Perfect. So now we can just start eating hits while we throw Pokeballs at it. Okay, so... Great ball, come on. There's no way we got it in one great ball. We got a Mew in one great ball. Are you kidding me? What? What? Okay, um, you know what? This is awesome. We just, we want to look for the Team Aqua hideout place again. Ooh, why don't we just check this? Oh, we found Drake. Okay, 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 okay. Drake was in Sutopolis. We, we need to die here. Okay, so Old Dale's Town right to the Pokemon Center takes me to Naval Rock, which takes me to Magma Hideout, which takes me to Fortress City. Finally, a new location, guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out some of these places. What do you take me? You take me to Mount Pyre. I don't care about so many places take me to Mount Pyre. You take me to somewhere I don't know. This takes me to a Pokemart, which doesn't matter. Okay, what about the Pokemon Mart? This takes me to a Pokemon Center. We're gonna heal up here. There we go. So this is the last place we teleport to if we die. We come through here. Oh, and this takes me to Sydney. I found Sydney. Okay, that's absolutely awesome. Okay, so okay, so I finally made my way back to this town over here. So that's fine. So let's go ahead and check out some of these houses. This takes us to Lava Ridge. Okay, have, we have we've been to Lava Ridge though. We've checked all of Lava Ridge out. Okay, we've got the Devon Scope now. I'm pretty sure the gym is a waste of time. I don't think I think that brought us here, but it didn't actually give us anything. Okay, guys, so if we go into this house in Lily Cove, this takes us to Rosforth's, uh, Rustor, Rustboro Tunnel, or whatever it is. I can never pronounce it right, which is fine, because then this tunnel will now take us to where we need to go next, sort of. We found another gym, so if we come this way, right, and we go down, and this will take us to the next place called the, uh, this is the, uh, the Slateport, uh, like, uh, it's a submarine workshop, which when we leave here takes us to Route 1, tent and if we go across cycling road here once we go across cycling road back through the cycling door aqua hideout then we take a right and this will take us to the flying type gym which is gym number six so that's really good we found another gym finally so uh we can take on may now though though this is what we can do 
Um, and because of this, I, do we get fly here, which would be big helpful, but mainly it would be really helpful. Uh, so what we could do is actually go into the department store because this would be a different warp technically, which would be really, really good for us. And then if we also get fly, but we don't get fly here. We get fly after we take on Fortree City or on the way to Fortree City technically. And all my Pokemon are fainted, which is not good whatsoever for us. Um, so I'm gonna be a bit a actually back. Do I have a max revive? I know I picked one up, but I might have either sold it or used it or something else. Max po oh, I do have one. Use max revive, and we'll use that on Golbat here. There we go. Perfect. There we go. So now we can just fight through this easily peasy and be a lot better. Because what we want to do is if we can get fly, that makes traveling to certain towns a lot easier, and it also makes our lives just a lot better overall in the reality of it. Because with the that we can actually knock out all the towns a lot easier especially since we've been to pretty much everything already so that's gonna make our lives so much better okay now if we enter here oh this is this is the eighth gym right yeah this is the ice gym oh so we found the ice gym which is awesome and i'm doing the puzzle right technically i just want to yeah so this is the ice gym um so that this is gym number uh I'm, I'm i know i'm doing this wrong too yeah this is gym number eight for us which is fine i'm okay with this okay so that's cool by us oh i think we get fly now oh this is gonna be good we have to defeat her or does she give her the go-go goggles here i think she gives us fly here we need to get through this though lombre i mean at least we're getting levels up i mean we started at, what 38 on the skull bat he's almost 44 so we're, we're big chilling there we go please give us fly uh yes fly there we go okay we are still stuck here and uh so let's travel through this cave oh this is straight up lugia holy crap uh four tree city yeah uh let's just save here and let, let's pick this guy up why not there we go okay lugia this is not gonna be fun here but it's just gonna be a lot of resets here so let's just go ahead and try to capture this thing come on lugia we've got all the pokeballs and all the resets in the world i will spend the entire time sitting here and capturing you because you will make my life a million times easier we need to capture this thing this will this will basically guarantee us to be able to win anything there we go and we caught lugia that's absolutely fantastic perfect so now we we need to just be able to get to a pokemon center and switch up our teams because we'd be big chilling now we have everything we need and this was oh pokemon center perfect there we go because we can switch up the team now big time so let's go ahead and boom there we go let's get rid of trico there we go perfect and place now we want to take septile i mean the the sableye i just uh happened to catch it while i was in sky pillar there we go and get rid of torkoal because he's a higher level easy peasy now let's just go ahead double check make sure everyone's healed up and we're all good here okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna take on max mim or max off here because this we avoided him earlier but i'm coming back to fight him since we have a better team now plus that's a loading zone right behind him that we haven't explored yet so we want to do that very good uh very good very easily so we we can just fly through here with lugia easy peasy no problem whatsoever and they can throw whatever they want at us we'll be fine bite super effective but i mean as soon as we get a flipping hydro pump off there we go we actually probably could use a single better move on this guy swift and hydro pump both good moves but i mean we should probably just get rid of rain dance we can deal without it there we go and now we can leave here and this takes us oh there's mall will's gym okay so mall will's gym is through the maximoff place okay that's fine so this is gym number three okay guys well we got back to sky pillar for rayquaza once again so since we had already activated it he's back here again um so hopefully we can do this but i don't know how well this is gonna go so i also don't know if we have any pokeball oh, we have some pokeballs let's just start throwing them at him i doubt we capture rayquaza but i mean if we do we'll be big chilling with three legendaries on our team all level 70 we won't have to worry about anything whatsoever there we go and we caught Rayquaza finally and boom so once we get him in the the team we will have everything we will need to actually take on the elite four so we're big chilling honestly I, I wish I could just buy more pokeballs I do have fourteen thousand dollars but we, we can go through this pretty easily without them and we just get sit here and try to capture this guy and now we've captured Groudon so we're big chilling now so now yeah now we have no worries whatsoever for the elite four we have a team of legendaries even though one of them is going to be level 30 Mew but it's completely all good oh Okay, guys, so after going through a bunch of tunnels and random things, I finally made it to Fall Arbor Town, and our squad is looking good. We've got the Groudon, the Mew, the Rayquaza, the Kyogre, the Abra, and the Lugia, so we're good here. So now we just gotta, we gotta start testing out these locations, so come on, give me something. Okay, so this takes me to the not top of Mount Coronet. What about the Pokemon Center? 
This takes me oh to another gym. Uh, which gym? This is the uh, this this is the seventh gym, I believe. So we've got the seventh gym now. The second thing is I don't know how I got to Fall Arbor Town is because I came through something that took me into Mount Coronet, but I can't travel backwards because of the way the teleportation system. Wait, this is another gym too. Holy crap, wait, there are two gyms here in Fall Arbor Town? Holy crap, which gym is this again? That's the real question, though. Is this the, uh, this is Flannery's gym, right? So this would be technically gym number four, I think. How's your champion? Uh, Flannery Fire type. Yeah, so this is gym number four. Okay, we're, we're big chilling. So there were two gyms here in Fall Arbor Town. This means I just need Glacia in the first gym, and we can do this. Okay, guys, it is actually some progress finally. So it's been like maybe half an hour for me since I last cut with you guys. We found Rock Smash. This is amazing. There we go. Plus, that is an HM. So now we can actually make some progress in some areas. Okay, guys, so I don't think I've checked this house yet. It's, I think, below Fortryville. Okay, take us to Sky Pillar. Okay, where is the next door? This is interesting because I'm pretty sure we usually come out on the other side of Sky Pillar. So, this is definitely different. So, I actually, I think we might be on the right track here. Where is anything we need? Glacia, first gym, or just a brand new section of anything that we haven't been to yet. Any, just Because I feel like I've checked everything, and I know I completely haven't. But, uh, Naval Rock again. <gasps> Guys, it's the first gym! Yes, finally! Okay, let's let's get past that, but we have no reason to battle any of these guys. Let's battle the first gym. Yes, that is one gym down. Now, all we have to do is battle the other ones. We have to get back to them somehow. But then we can start taking on the Elite Four as soon as we find one. But once we unlock things in the gyms, that means we can start. We can now use Rock Smash, and soon we'll be able to use Strength and whatnot if we could find how to get to them. But it's going to open things up for us, which is going to be super, super good for us. So we need to get ready for the next gym. Gym number two is Slate Port. It's the house by the water. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Oh wait, I think, okay, Waterhouse. I think I know what I meant then when I wrote, I wrote, wrote that down. That Because that was forever ago. There we go. Boom, and we have a badge, which is super, super nice to have, honestly. So at least that's a big, big bonus for us. So there we go. Okay, Woo. plus now we can use Rock Smash. That's all I care about. Hey, we're in Slayport City. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and save right here. And now we should be able to go into the second gym, which is... Wait, where is it? Where is it? Where's the house? Water house. Oh, I, th I was thinking this, but this isn't it. Oh, up the stairs. That's what the... Okay, here we are. The Doofu gym. There we go. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get through here. This is for our second gym badge. Okay, uh, we can just go all in. Double edge, everyone. No big deal. We can just we can just sit here and chill. Or sheer cold. That works, too. Boom. Come on, sheer cold. And there we go. Might have missed one, but we got the other one, which is all that matters. And last Pokemon, we just shoot cold again. It missed. See, less, more likely, but not impossible to miss, which is still something else. Boom. And we defeated Brawly for our second gym badge, which is absolutely fantastic. There we go. Okay, so we're in the third gym. Let's just go ahead and get through this as quickly as possible. Um, I don't have a choice but to battle one of these guys, do I? No, I don't. Okay, let's take on Watson now. Um, sure, let's, oop, let's go all in. And it's, it's, I mean, it's gonna be a washover. I'm just glad that we're finally making progress. Okay, Watson. Hi, big boy. You already get s completely swept because we are way over strong for you, way over power. Like, literally, full team of legendaries, level 70s, except for two Pokemon. And one's still a legendary, it's just level 30. It's, it's quite literally insane. We're, we're, we're killing the game now. It's, it's gonna be picking up a lot, at least for me. You guys are gonna have a nice little edit to make your life easier. It's not gonna be a six hour recording session. Okay, boom, and now we have the Dynamo badge for that. So, gym number three. I cannot complain about it. That's absolutely fantastic. So, there we go. Okay, so gym one, I mean, gym four is the house bottom left so that tells me this is the fourth gym yes it is perfect there we go so now we can go ahead and get started okay guys we have finally made it to flannery let's go ahead and get this fourth gym badge finally like i said we were going to be rolling through it as soon as we got to figure out where that first gym was that was insane i i to get that long and not be able to find it it's it just a sheer luck thinking this is i swear this might be the only thing that i haven't done yet because i was really worried it was going to be somewhere in like victory road or something that had to be 
need strength in Rock Smash to get to, which if it was, would be technically impossible, which I've never seen with this mod pack uh, or randomized version of map. So it, that's kind of insane. And there we go. We just unlocked ourselves the heat badge. That's absolutely fantastic. Awesome. Perfect. Fit. There we go. Moss Deep, here we are. Okay. And it should be the market, I'm pretty sure. And here we are. This is badge or gym number five. There we go. So let's go ahead and get through all of this. Ooh, baby. Okay. Spinda level 27. Really sheer cold, this guy. Bye bye, Spinda. Get out of here. And oh, look, I have 27 Vigor off. Let's just go ahead and sheer cold him as well. What else do we got? Oh, a 29 Linnoon. Let's just sheer cold him as well. I love having the sheer cold on lower levels. It's absolutely fantastic. Especially for this guy. Oh, I missed. And we need to Ice Beam. There we go. That was going to kill him no matter what. Anything we hit him with was going to kill him. Perfect. And that is badge number five for us. That's absolutely amazing. So let's go right. And there we go. This is the next gym. Perfect. Let's double make sure. Uh, flying type gym. Yep, that's definitely the next gym. So let's go ahead and get through this thing as quickly as possible. Okay, guys, time to take down Flannery. I don't care what Pokemon you have, bird or not. We're going to run right on through you. So let's just get this over with, Flannery, because you ain't no match for my legendary squad of Pokemon. And I'm actually so happy that we got this because I would have had to actually take time somehow and train up Pokemon if I wasn't going to be able to catch all the legendaries. Because, I mean, I think the level for this champion are probably in the 50 high 50s maybe a 60 in there um i know diamond and pearl and the brilliant diamond is 60 into 64 64 is the ace of cynthia but i know it's not always the same for each game i'm assuming they're going to be around 55 to 60s as well this time so got to be prepared for it with team 11 level 70 legendaries will be all good plus we can actually you know take our time in between each one and heal if we want we really really want to which is going to be a big big bonus for us um i wish we could just one shot this guy i probably should have went with outrage outrage there we go now we're just going to be stuck in it no big deal and it's the last pokemon plus it's super effective plus we're at level 70 and there we go boom that is our next badge the feather badge for gym number six now it's on to gym number seven so we have to go back to fall arbor town to be able to do that one so we got to try to backtrack which is not going to be the easiest thing in the world Finally, we have made it back to Fall Arbor Town. That took way too long. So we should just go into the Pokemon Center. And yes, here is our next badge. Okay, guys, let's take on this gym. Here we go. We should, we have this easily. I mean, two double legendaries. Look at this joke of a squad. Ha! I'm gonna regret saying that next time I lose to these people. Okay, let's go. Boom, Outrage and Shadow Ball. We'll just fly through this gym so easily. And we're not gonna have any issues whatsoever. Oh my God, yeah, they're just dying left and right. Left and right, left and right. Ah, this recording's getting to me. I have no idea what to commentate anymore, everyone. But there we go. That's that's the mind badge. Easy peasy. Finally, boom. Absolute fit. And we have Calm Mind, which we can actually give to our uh, Kyogre or anyone else, probably someone else. Uh, Calm Mind, use. Who else can learn this? So we've got everyone except for Groudon and Rayquaza interesting so kyogre i'm used to having calm mind on um he also has a better move set than lugia um we could get rid of sheer cold for it because we're getting to the point where sheer cold's not going to do anything and yeah let's just get rid of sheer cold for calm mind that's definitely the smart play overall so at least now that we have our seventh gym badge we can go to gym eight which is really really easy that's just straight back to lily cove and it's the department store if i remember correctly there we go we finally got back to lily cove city and let's go ahead to the department well not department store let's come in here for our eight and final badge thank god and then we can start on the elite four members which is not going to be fun because we're still missing one we're missing the third one glacia no idea where she is but i'm just making progress i'm just glad that we're getting somewhere at this point which is all that i care about so at least now that something is done because we got the badges and that that's honestly all i care about at the moment i'm just glad something's happened because i was stuck for so long looking for everything yes let's take you on give me the eighth badge you sir you will love disc what a joke shadow ball bye bye and look oh look another shadow ball oh wow he ate that celio is tanky though all oh, swift this time swift again there we go perfect so it doesn't trick him into healing kingdra hi we got a swift for you and then we'll finish up with the shadow ball 
And another shadow ball, because you can only heal up so much. And you've used your berry now, which means you'll go to sleep for good. Crawl on your dark type, so shadow ball should do good on you or not. Let's just switch to a swift then. Much better. And really, you got a high, hyper potion. You're not winning this battle. Have you seen my squad? We're killing you with just a level 71 Lugia. Dude, you've lost. You've lost. You've lost. There ain't no winning. Thank you very much for our last badge, the rain badge. That's awesome. Okay, that's killer. Okay, so we have to make it back to Fort Tree for the Fort Tree market, and then that will give us what we need. So this is not going to be easy because I don't have a note for how to get back to Fort Tree, but I think we can do this without too much difficulty. It's just going to be another bit of a lot of searching for the right town. Guys, I completely forgot I have access to fly now. So we can actually just go to Fort Tree Village uh, City. So we're, we're big chilling. Um, I just wish I knew a location of a Pokemon Center, but we can figure that out. So this, oh, we take through a Pokemon Center. Okay, so we can heal up here easy peasy. So let's go ahead and save here. And this way should be Sydney. There we go. So this is the first Elite Four member. Let's take this guy down. Woo, it feels so good to be making some real progress, finally. It really does. Shadow Ball, that did nothing. That's fine, though. We just go with the Water Pulse and easy clap. Shift Tree, you ain't got nothing on me. You are a what? Dark Brass type? Shadow Ball's not going to do much if we could hit it. Let's try it again. And Yeah, that did better than Water Pulse. So I will gladly take that. Uh, oh, Hydro Pump, let's go. And, jeesh. Okay, Water Pulse, and we can stop missing, please. Okay, I hate Torment. Pokemon, or Quaza, come on out, buddy. And you're gonna go with Extreme Speed. Easy peasy, finish this guy off. There we go. Absol, yes, we're trying to get Lugia to 72, just to be safe, so recover, heal up. Swords Dance, all you want. You ain't surviving a Water Pulse or two, buddy. Bye-bye. Oh, he had that berry. That rock slide hurt. Even from a level 49. Uh, it's kind of impressive, honestly. There we go. Finish this guy off. And he's got Cacturn. He's a dark type master, right? He's at all dark type. Shadow Ball. There we go. Cotton Spores. This guy's annoying. Come on. There we go. Perfect. Was that his last Pokemon? I think so. No, he's got Crawdont left. That's fine. We can just come into Kyogre, I guess. That will work out for us. And then we can just go with an Ice Beam. And that was nearly... He got the Frozen off, too. So we're big chilling. Oh, he got the Full Restore off. But we still killed him with a Serve. Wow, that's kind of impressive. There we go. Um, I want to save right here. Because we're stuck in here anyways. And where is this going to take us? This takes us to Fiery Earth. So we need... I should have an Escape Rope, right? um somewhere yeah there we go boom use escape rope there we go so we've got sydney now so now we got this guy go to phoebe which isn't all that bad phoebe is in the mallville game corner so that shouldn't be that we can just fly there real easy so we come down here into the game corner here and this is the phoebe battle let's go ahead and go all in phoebe you are the next elite four member that we have to take down dust claps what about a water pulse all right fine protect yourself we'll just water pulse you again it's no big deal and shadow ball stop protecting yourself dude there we go shadow ball finish you up perfect bayonet we're all good here let's just go with shadow ball and easy i love this we just wait you have two bayonets wait what all right, I understand gym leaders might have duplicate a Pokemon, but these guys? Why, why, didn't we already face Dusclops too? Do you have multiple of these Pokemon, or did I just flat out not kill them? Because they came back in with full health. I got Sableye left, and he's going to be done here in a second here. There we go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Sableye. And now we defeated you of the Elite Four. Let's go ahead and cut through here, and this is going to take us right back where we came from. Perfect. So now we have two Elite Four members down. So technically, if we want to continue now, now we have to find Glacia. And honestly, guys, I have no idea where I need to look. And we have finally found our next Elite Four member. It was the Water Cave or something. I think you'd take it during Victory Road, you might be. But it, it was the Water Surf Pattern. And I can't believe that we found it. So let's go ahead and get into this. Shadow Ball, let's go. There we go. Easy peasy. Just you shouldn't be able to heal. Perfect. And Galele, sure, we'll switch out. We'll just go to Groudon. Groudon can wipe down this entire team if we really need it to. And Fire Blast. Fire Blast. And oh, look, Fire Blast again. 
Wow, that didn't do as much as I thought it was. Another fire blast. Oh, wow. We got the burn off, though. I mean, that definitely did half health the first time. I guess we got a, a low roll and a high roll, or two low rolls, I guess. Galele. Easy peasy. I didn't mean to use solar beam. I meant to use overheat, but that's fine. That works, too. And we can stay in, and he's going to come in with a solar beam, which is still just going to be as powerful on these guys. Easy peasy. Ice beam does hurt us, though. Let's come on out real quick way, and let's go ahead and boom. Extreme speed. There we go. That was so nearly fin enough to finish it off. They got the freeze on us. I can't believe that. Come on. There we go. Extreme speed again. Ice beam. Yeah, that's going to kill us. Not surprised there. Lugia, come on out. Because I'm not playing this like I should if it was a Nuzlocke. If this is a Nuzlocke, this would take so much longer. Thank God. Because I'm just I'm just speeding through this so I don't have to worry about it. There we go. So, boom. Save that. That is an elite form of Medusa. So now all we have is Drake to take care of. See, Seafloor Cavern. This is where I was. And there we go. Okay, it was the house beneath us. Okay, so we're good here. Let's go ahead and take on our boy Drake now for our final Elite Four member. Then all we have left is Wally, and we've, we're done. Okay, so boom. Let's go Hydro Pump. Oh, he's going to protect himself. Are you kidding me? Hydro Pump again. There we go. Perfect. Let's go with Shadow Ball this time. Perfect to finish this guy off. Flygon, we're all good here. We could have switched into Kyogre, but it doesn't make much of a difference. We got that Confusion off. Perfect. Let's go and finish him off with a Hydro Pump. We probably could have done that in one shot anyways. And a Sally Man. So we probably should have switched out for Ice Beam. Yeah, that would have been a good idea. Let's go ahead and do that. Kyogre, come on out, bud. Easy peasy. And let's go with an Ice Beam. Finished him off. There we go. Altaria? Nah, we can just stick in with Ice Beam. I think Ice... He's a, he's a Dragon Master. We just go with Ice Beam on everything. And we'll be good. Except for a Kingdra. That's a pretty good counter to Ice Beam. Or not, because we got a critical hit. Easy peasy. And we've defeated Drake. There we go. Perfect. We defeated the Master Drake. And now we can move on and get to Wallace. So now all we have to do is find him in somewhere in Victory Road. Oh, no. This was like three hours ago. Maybe it's here. Victory Road. Okay, so let's go straight left. We hit a wall. Hi, Agron. Water Pulse. Or Alaron, you're dead now. Thank you. And this should be... Yes, this is Wallace. Let's take down the champion. And we are done. We will win. We have finally finished. Oh, hi, Mr. Waylord. Let's go with a Shadow Ball here. There we go. Rain Dance. I don't care. Shadow Ball again. Blizzard, you missed. Ha. Oh, no. This is his tankiest Pokemon. I know it is. Come on, get through it. There we go. We could use a crit there. That's going to... Ah, Blizzard did actually nothing to us. And we'll finish him off. Boom. There we go. Tentacruel? Sure. We'll come on out. Let's bring out our boy right quick way. And let's just... You know what? Let's start bulking up. Why not? Let's bulk up. Oh, God. Or not. Outrage then. One bulk up and outrage. We'll be fine. If we could live another hit. Jeez. Okay, fine. Groudon. Come on out here. Finish this guy off with a good old uh, Fire Blast. It doesn't really matter. He should be dead. Oh, wow. I can't believe he survived that. But he'll die on this burn turn. There we go. Boom. And Wish Cash. No, we won't switch out because we have Fissure. Uh, we are higher level. We should be able to Fissure him if we don't keep missing. Come on. There we go. Perfect. One hit KO move. Always good. Milo Tick. Definitely want to switch out here. We can go out to our boy Lugia. I can't believe I lost away quick way. He probably would have been best for that. Uh, let's go with a Hydro Pump. Even though it's not that, that did nothing to it. Even with the levels. Okay, Shadow Ball. There we go. That's so much better. But they have Recover like we do. Which is going to... Yeah, that's going to suck. Okay, come on. There we go. Come on. We got to keep it up. They can only use Recover so much. Fine. You know what you were going to do? I meant to use Water Pulse. Oh, you got to be like that. Fine. We'll Recover too. There we go. Look. All the way back up. You know what we're going to do? We're going to Water Pulse you because it's going to do no damage. But we're going to get the Confusion off. Oh, come on. Give me the Confusion. Give me the Confusion. I have plenty of potions and stuff too if I so need it. Come on, where's the confusion? Seriously, no confusion at all? Jeez, fine. Okay, come on in Kyogre here. And we can start setting up with Calm Mind. Because they're not going to be able to do anything to Kyogre. They're a water type too. So we just raise our defense, our special attack and special defense. They're not going to do anything. And we can just one-shot them with Ice Beam. There we go. Easy peasy. Special attack and special defense. Fine, poison us all you want. Ice Beam, let's go. There we go. That nearly finished it off. And another Ice Beam. Fine. Ice Beam again. Restore. And Surf. Are you kidding me? There we go. Surf's got better stab. Ludicolo? No, we're not going to switch out. We should probably heal though, but I honestly don't care. Ice Beam? Come on, just hit him. It missed. That's great. And there goes our Pokemon. Okay, Groudon, come on in here. 
And good thing I prepared for this because I'm smarty smart smart. Revive on our boy Rayquaque. Cause yeah, Groudon's not gonna be able to do anything against this guy. Uh, overheat, just in case we land it. There we go, cause he, he is water grass, which gives us troubles. Fire blast. How many full restores does this guy get? Overheat again. Oh my god, I was hoping that would just be enough. I know overheat loses uh, power each time, but still. There we go. Oh my god. That's we're quite, quite crazy. Okay, come on in here and let's go with fly. Or we could use extreme speed. That would have worked as well. And, okay, extreme speed. There we go. Finish this guy off. We got, what, one more guy left? It's a Gyarados. We should be all good here. Let's go ahead and, first of all, we're going to heal up with a Hyper Potion. Make sure we're all good. I used a Super Potion. That's not going to do anything to us on both sides of it. Hyper Potion. There we go. Dragon Dance. Hey, you can Dragon Dance all you want. We're going to go with Outrage here. And it's just going to be extremely powerful. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. One more Outrage and you're dead. Bye-bye. And there we go. We did it. We won. Absolutely amazing. If you guys did enjoy this video, we became champion. If you want to see a randomized Nuzlocke, or at least a randomized version of this, and then a randomized Nuzlocke, let me know in the comments down below. Also, leave a like if you guys did enjoy. It helps me out. Helps out the channel. And I really, really appreciate it. And I'll see you all next time, Rockstars. Peace, peace.